Hello everyone, my name is Srinivy. I'm currently going into my third year of biomedical science with a minor in marketing. This summer, I had the privilege of working as a URA for Dr. Yuan Feng Lin from the Marketing of Consumer Studies Department. Our research focused on exploring the prevalence of competition in marketing strategies by studying what risks firms were willing to take through the four Ps. My primary responsibilities during this research term consisted of data compilation from primary sources, exploratory data analysis from external databases, and conducting literature review from primary research articles. Literature review is the preliminary process of scanning existing literature articles on the general research themes of interest before developing one's own research ideologies. During my literature review, I analyzed how companies have traditionally taken risks with regards to one or more of the four Ps when designing marketing strategies covering various research journals, such as the Journal of Marketing, Journal of Marketing Science, and others. What are the four Ps of marketing? They are price, promotion, place, and product. The product is what the company sells. Price is simple. It refers to how much you charge for your product or service. Place is another word for location, or in the case of international business, locations and logistics. Promotion is the step where you advertise your product and potentially generate revenue. Today, I will discuss various methods of developing a marketing design and the risks associated with the four piece. I'll start with risks and pricing strategies. When companies take risks with pricing, they are mostly playing around with new ways to establish price. Companies are willing to take risks with pricing as they generally know the gross profit margin they need to acquire to pay back their expenses, so they distribute their funds in a way that saves them from total loss. An example of risk in establishing price is sole tendering, which means acquiring raw materials from only one provider, which limits multiple expenditures. This process ultimately reduces gross production expenditure, resulting in a shift of the price of the product, whether it is positive or negative, depending on the amount of pricing spent to acquire the raw materials. Next, we can observe risks associated with products. A risk with the development of a new product is innovation. In the rapidly changing marketplace, companies that do not undergo product innovation will languish and die. Therefore, companies are constantly required to innovate their products. However, the requirement to innovate new products comes with the challenges of its own, such as global competition and time pressure. Next, let us consider risks associated with promotion. Through promotions, the customer gets to know about the value of the product, their usage, and any additional information that might be helpful to the customers before they make a final decision. Today, we see companies taking risks and experimenting with new social media platforms such as Snapchat for their changing advertising campaigns and expanding their consumer networks. Finally, I'll outline the risks associated with placing strategies. Placing, also known as logistics, creates and increases the values businesses offer by improving merchandise and ensuring the availability of products. Placing is an essential pillar of a firm's success. Today, companies are willing to take risks with placing strategies by exploring several technological advancements such as artificial intelligence and supply chain digitization. Although we have analyzed several risks and challenges with developing a marketing design, there is still a long way to go and many new points to consider. For example, we need to consider the impacts of online fraud on promotion strategies, income-based pricing and the risks associated with artificial intelligence in international shipping, just to name a few. Thank you so much for this lovely opportunity. I was able to explore research topics and careers in the Department of Marketing and truly use skills from both my major and minor during my time as a summer URA. I hope to use these skills in my future projects. Thank you once again, and I hope everyone is keeping safe.